G'day and welcome back to RC Model Review. Something interesting, something different, something unusual on the bench today. It is the Skydroid T12. Now, transmitters, we don't see a lot of new radios actually, certainly not um, outside of the toy arena. Um, so this was quite interesting and only, th only few problems to deal with, it's Mode 3. Who the hell flies Mode 3? Certainly not me. I'm Mode 1 and that's odd enough, but Mode 3, that's pretty unusual. Um, this is a very specific radio, it's not, not designed for you, you can tell by the fact that it has a place for a tablet on it. It's designed for people that do, um, I, I guess the name spells it out too, for people who tend to do um, UAV drone stuff rather than model stuff. Um, Apparently it's got a long distance link and an ultra stable link and super long endurance, compact size, super scalability, open source compatible. Open source compatible? Does it run OpenTX? I don't know. Uh, because it doesn't have an LCD on the transmitter radio. In fact, I won't unbox it, but I will take it out of the box. And you actually get a lot of stuff in this box. I'm quite surprised actually. We get the radio and I guess this folds up, does it? I have no idea. Is it a fold up thing? Who knows? Um, oh yeah, there we go. I don't know. How does this work? Oh dear. Um, oh, there we go. Um, so that folds up there. How did you? Yeah, that folds up. I don't know how this works. Um, no idea. Anyway, we're not going to go there. Um, suffice to say, it doesn't have an LCD. I don't know what you do. I guess it's got a USB port and you plug it in to program it if you need to. It's a Skydroid 12. Here we go. The thing that really struck me most interesting about this is that it claims to have a 20 kilometer range. It's 2.4 gigahertz, but it says it's got a 20 kilometer range somewhere, um, which is an awful, awful lot. Um, so yeah, we've got a couple of USB connectors there. We've got some things and some, oh look, we can change it to mode one. It's got another little springy thing for the stick and that's pretty cool. Here we go. Gimbals are, yeah, they're, they're pretty so-so, what you'd probably expect from something like this. And this is something interesting here. Now, I'm just going to... I cut the end off my thumb today. Honestly, never use a knife in the morning before you've had your Parkinson's med. There's nothing more dangerous than someone with Parkinson's and a sharp knife. I've discovered that. So here we go. Look at this. There's a lot of stuff. Now, what's this? This is the Skydroid Multilink. It's got a 2.4 gig antenna. There we go. With a, Oh, it's got two antennas with... Um, these are sleeve dipole antennas. Quite a big unit. This Obviously this is designed for larger craft, larger multi-rotors or, or aircraft or whatever. Um, but it did come with this. I don't know what this is. This has got wires on it as well. Maybe is this another receiver? I don't know. Um, don't know. I'll have to do some more research on this but we've even got little rubber duckies for sticking your RC antennas into so that they can maintain good alignment. Um, yes, yeah, so, and it comes with a camera as well, camera. So it's like a full featured thing. It's designed for use with Argypilot by the look of it. They do make a lot of reference to Argypilot. even has, in the instructions I noticed, the old Pixhawk. Look at that! Pixhawk. Who uses a Pixhawk these days? I do not know. Um, so, yeah, th they sent it to me. I said that uh, this, probably this isn't really my, my, certainly not my area so much of interest. But, uh, although I have some expertise. But uh, what I will do, if people are interested, I want to do this video first, find out how many people are actually interested in seeing how this works, whether it works, pros and cons, you know, just basically reviewing this product because it is a, it is a niche product to quite a degree. I'm sure you could use this to fly your RC models and everything, but I think most people would want, they, they wouldn't want the hassle of putting a tablet on here rather than having a built-in LCD. So as I say, it is, it is a niche product designed for a particular market, which is the... Um, long range FPV because let me find the piece in the manual for you. Just one moment. Here we go. Hopefully those of you in HD can read this. It says, what is the video data distance of the T12 in transmission? It says, under open area, the maximum distance of the video link is 20 kilometers, while the data link is 30 kilometers. And that, that sounds pretty damn impressive considering we're just using omnidirectional antennas. So I would be, personally, I'd be rather keen to see how well that works. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is like if you want to set up a long range craft, this could be a really simple way to do it because you don't have to fart around with long range receivers and long range video equipment. If this does what it says, this is a pretty swish thing. And now is it analog or is it digital? I don't know. There's not a lot of information in this brochure. Perhaps I should uh, investigate, or in the manual, I should investigate a bit further and see exactly what this is capable of. So all of those in favor of me putting this in a model and doing a review, put your hands up now in the comment section, rush there now with your with your little uh, thumb-uppy fingers and say so and I will 
do this. I mean, the spring's coming up now, you're gonna have far more time to get in the air. Although my flying abilities may be a little compromised for the blood. Cut the end right off the damn thing. And I just stuck it on with a stick and plaster. I hope it'll stay on. It was um, quite painful, never mind. So there you go, this is the SkyDroid. SkyDroid from Quanzhou SkyDroid Technology. And um, yeah, I would, is there a, there's a website. There's a website down there. So you can go and get some more info out of that. And if you're keen, I'll get onto it. And I've got another video you'll see fairly shortly about FPV as well and about the future of FPV and where it's going and uh, what other people think. So there you go. That's my little intro for today. I'll put it back in this box now, box now so I don't lose any parts, but I am really, really interested in seeing how well this does. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.